uh, six new alumni were honored as the 2020 inductees for the ESM Wall of Distinction on February 29th. Kathleen Alimo graduated in 1978 and currently is the president of the Syracuse label and Saran Printing in Syracuse. Lauren Barnello graduated in 1987 at, and at the moment is an editor for CBS Sunday Morning in New York City. Barnello has won multiple Emmys. The third honored alumni is Nancy Wa Wassel Edwards, I'm sorry. The 1989 graduate, vol graduate volunteers at the Army, Army's Family Readiness Group, FRG. She is also known and she has also received a two-star general's coin. 1997 graduate Kathleen Crossett Garver works as a special agent in the FBI and graduated from a class that was only 10% female. Lauren Cochin, a 1996 graduate, is now the president of the Milton J. Rub I'm sorry, Museum of Sight, the most, the <laughs> in most. Syracuse. And lastly, Danny Litka graduated in 1986. He is president and CEO of Visit Syracuse. Lika has also worked for numerous television and radio stations as well as a sports broadcaster. And Barnello and Lika both got their uh, starts right here in this studio. In Louisiana, Southwood High School's principal, Kim Pendleton, sent a text to parents saying all girls attending prom need to send a picture of their outfit so it can be approved. Pendleton also said the rule applies to dates from different schools. Pendleton, Pendleton said she had received concerns from multiple staff and parents about inappropriate attire, but she had never heard a complaint about the clothing boys were wearing. People online have had different opinions about the rule taking place in Southwood. Some disagree, saying it promotes rape culture and puts blame solely on the girl, while others agree with the rule, saying it's the parents' fault for not taking responsibility for their daughter's clothes and in keeping the prom wholesome. Do you think this rule was justified? Join us at ESM Morning Show to participate in our Twitter poll. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. While the Winter Guards had a weekend off, the ESM Indoor Percussion Ensemble continued their undefeated season, earning their fourth win in 2020. The Percussion Ensemble will host their annual contest, the Preview of Champions, here at ESM High School on Saturday, March 21st at 1 p.m. Senior Variety Show will be meeting this week Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Come on down to be a part of it. Also, if you have any videos or photos that you want to be part of the Senior Slideshow, email them to seniorvarietyshow at esmschools.org. Also, Senior Variety Show tickets are now on sale in the main lobby before school. Pre-sale tickets are $8. You can also order your senior class and or Variety Show apparel. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are eligible may now apply for membership in the National Honor Society. The eligibility list is posted outside the library and applications can be found inside the library. Application packets are due on Tuesday, March 24th. See Ms. Fulner or Ms. Van Bevern with any questions. No late applications will be accepted. Any girls interested in trying out for softball should sign up on Family ID and see Ms. Neuhaus with any questions. Tryouts begin Monday, March 16th. Get your Be the Difference apparel by March 13th, Friday, and let your style show how you want to be a difference in the school. Be the difference in the community and be the difference in others. The proceeds will go to the Jim and Julie Found Dayheim Foundation and ESM DACA to help students travel for competition. Whether you're a major corporation like Netflix or Hulu or a small business, you don't have to be a company like Mercedes to have A-class marketing. Los Angeles Corporate Videos Production Company, Transic Pictures, describes itself as mobile as the crew travels light and aims to help you make videos that don't just ask for attention but captures it. And yes, the aforementioned name drops are referencing just a couple of their clients, which also include Nickelodeon, Paramount, and World Ventures. Each project Transic Pictures works on is, its structure, on is structured around capturing people's attention in a world that's inundated and competing with voices and media. Transit Pictures takes on every challenge with fresh eyes and an insatiable desire to create. Transit is headed by creative director Tony Valentino and of course backed up by a dynamic team of passionate, inspired, creative talent.
is Tony Valentino from class of 2006 and Cameron Hill from class of 2013. Mm. Uh, we were recently named one of the top eight corporate production companies to work with in Los Angeles to shoot corporate materials. Um, and we're just getting back from a shoot. So that was very cool. I don't know how it happened. Um, I don't know who nominated us or who awesome. makes who makes these lists. But um, I will say that it's been a long time since I started this company and it's finally starting to pay off. We're start finally starting to get some recognition. And I think what's really doing it is having awesome people around me. So luckily I've had Cameron's help for about two years company's been around for about five and another ESM grad named Rob Fonda who you'll hear from right now. So it's a surprise to be sure but a welcome one. Um, I actually found out about the article uh, naming us as one of the top eight video production companies or for corporate video production uh, on Mr. Ferris's Facebook page so it's just really nice to be able to see that we're recognized you know we put a lot of work in and a lot of time in that people don't see so it's nice to be recognized. Today we'll have scattered rain showers throughout the day with a high of 56. The rest of the week is looking to be mostly cloudy with warmer temperatures. I'm Gabby with your weather. Arbuto recently got a promotion. He's working with many professional sports teams. Here's Jeremy to tell you a little bit more. I am just promoted to the MLS League Operations Manager at Intel Sports. That means that I'm in charge of making sure our clients are happy um, and getting credentials, game passes, and whatnot. I also do uh, system engineering here in Atlanta, so all the Falcons, United, and Hawks, and then I also manage our engineers in Spain for La Liga, so Real Madrid, Barcelona, Sevilla, Atletico Madrid. Syracuse small forward Elijah Hughes won ACC first team honors. He also was the top regular season scorer in the ACC with 18.8 points per game and 582 total points. He will be leading Syracuse to the ACC tournament where they are ranked 6th and play tomorrow at 9. I'm Luke with Sports. Just recently, the American Society of Golf Course Architects uh, selected two new members and it's a pretty uh, distinguished group with under 200 members worldwide. We were able to FaceTime with him yesterday. It starts with having a wonderful mother who was very for forgiving when um, my brother and, and my friends, you know, kind of took over her yard and, and <laughs> put a little golf course in it. And um, when, when I got into um, golf, I had no idea that golf course architecture was an actual profession. I just loved it. Well, yeah, Mr. Eddie's classes were great. I loved drafting. Um, I also uh, got a lot out of um, my, my teacher there was Mr. Beal. He taught biology. That was a really good course. Um, there are a lot of courses I loved at ESM, a lot of classes, um, but those are probably the two that, that kind of get the wheels in motion for what I'm doing now. Finished that practice facility uh, up in Delaware which is getting a lot of attention. It's a, it's a very um, technology-driven uh, practice facility that, that um, no other golf courses really have. You know, that guy kind of looks familiar. Like a uh, less, slightly less attractive, not as smart brother like this guy right here. All right, so we hope you guys liked it. It was very interesting. Yes, my mother did let us uh, mow fairways into the backyard, and it did start some pretty creative thoughts for my brother. But for everybody here at the morning show... Have a good day. You say that. <laughs> have a good day.